in today's video we are using some of my favorite junk and this time we are making border text and corner text the border text could also be used for belly bands stay tuned to see how i used my favorite junk to make bases for these beautiful embellishments this is for the july junk journal challenge here on the dear julie julie channel stay tuned hi everybody it's julie and again i've got my pile of junk today we are making nine assorted corner tucks and border tucks so i have a variety of items that i can pull from here to make those and so let's go ahead and we're going to start with this greeting card and we could just make a tag out of this greeting card that would be really easy really fun but i thought we could make a corner tuck out of it so i have this little piece we're going to put that little piece over there then we're going to come over here and so we're trimming this all the way around the box okay all the way around the box so this was one of those greeting cards that somebody had given me and i thought it was really cute so for um, for this, there's so many things that you're going to be able to do similar to this. So what I do is I come back in and I go corner to corner. And yes, I'm going to cut the vase. Whoop, so sure I am. I'm trying to go to the middle, actually. Uh, I need a new blade. Okay, so that gives me a bottom corner tuck and a top corner tuck. Actually, this one, it they don't really matter. Do you see that? So that's gonna give me the bases for two corner tucks. I also have this one, really cool. Um, it's a pretty wide one. I think this one is just really a lot of fun here, these colors. Okay. Okay, so that gives us some more. And um, so as far as corner tucks, I think that's what I, you know, this one would make a gorgeous corner tuck. Ooh, look at this on the back. Okay, so I want, I want to um, separate that. And let's see, on a normal journal, so this is the normal journal. Um, Let's see, like if it was on a middle page even, it's too big at that point. But if I cut it down and have it end over here, I'm going to be okay. I'm actually thinking it might be kind of fun to go ahead and... If I cut this here, yeah, I think so. I'm going to go with, hmm, yeah, I'm going to go with this right here, okay? So that's going to give me another little something, okay? If I come here to here, I just want to make sure I'm not going to cut any deer off. Yep. We're good. Okay, pull it over, pull it over, pull it up. So greeting cards, great way. You can go ahead and cut that and cut that, but look, you've got that beautiful waterfall. You've got the beautiful deer down here. So that is, that is awesome. Okay, and we still have this awesome deer that we'll be able to use for something also. Okay, so next I'm going to go to, we have a page of 
the the glossary from the atlas and if I just fold it on like right about there and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it so that's going to give me a folded border okay so we're, we're gonna gonna watch that and I think we'll go ahead and do one that's a little bigger so um, if you're curious about making bases in April we had the all about the base junk journal challenge and we made bases out of um, book pages okay it's all kinds of bases so um, that would always count as as junk so if you are stuck you can go check the April all about that base junk journal challenge okay so for one of these um, my papers are usually either eight and a half or nine inches. Okay, so I've cleaned up that edge, so I'm gonna come over and put this at eight and a half. Okay, whoop. Okay, so that one's cleaned up and ready. We'll do the same thing again and come down here to ah, did it again. It needs it needs a new blade. That's that's all there is to it. Okay, so that gives me two of that type of base. And I do have some book pages here that I could just go ahead and fold. Okay, that's a nine inch. Okay. Let's see, we have a privacy envelope. And it's nine inch. Let's go ahead and Yeah, we'll go right along this red, this red edge. The inside. Okay, so there's that one. And that one. And come down here. We have a gift bag. Okay, you've seen me dissect a gift bag before. I usually take the front piece off. Okay, I use um, I use gift bags a lot in the challenges. They, a lot of times they give us some great color. They are usually a really nice weight. So there's that and then I'm going to come here and so one of the things that I like to do with a gift bag is this part right here how, how tall is that are we eight and a half I don't think so I think we're just a little short just a little shy of it okay so we're gonna go ahead and Sort of open this bag. Okay, we'll take it to there. And we'll come over and 
gonna do right here, okay? So we'll be able to make other things out of that as well. So don't worry that it's... So one of the things that you could do is you can take this little guy and make a corner, um, a corner tuck out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and put it through from this direction to the eight and a half. Okay, and so there's that. You know what, let's clean this up. Make sure it's You can turn it over. You don't have to always cut from the same, looking at the same side, okay? Okay, so there's that one. Okay, so this one, um, if you had this, okay? So you have this, and you glue it here, and or no, here, here, and here, you could put this on a page in a journal, and it would be a border tuck. You can put it this way, Okay, and then this can open this way and you can have writing space in there. You can actually add a, um, a flip-flop in there, which we'll be doing in another video. Okay, so we have this and I think it's really pretty and I'm going to go ahead. I am going to use the metal ruler. So we're going to go ahead and start, de start um, decorating some of these and... We'll probably have to make a few more. Okay, trying to eye it. Okay. So now for decoration, I can either leave this um, and have a pocket here, or I can just put it on. This time, I'm just going to put it on. No pockets. Okay. Even though I love pockets and I cannot lie, I'm going to not put a pocket on this particular one. Okay, so I've got these beautiful flowers. Okay. We have been using the music. And, ooh, I like it down here. So this is, this um, will probably go on a full page, so it doesn't matter it's not like a tag where you're not probably not going to see part of it. You're probably going to see this whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to put it down here. So very, very simply, we added that and that, and we're going to add one of our little bingo. It's not a bingo marker, though. It might be, I don't know. It's got all the letters, so I don't know what it is. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if we put this in the... In the journal, we glue it here and here and here and put it on this edge. Then we will have a spot that we can add something. Okay, so that is a border tuck. This one has a flip on it also, so it would be a border tuck flip. Okay, so there's our first one. And now let's move on to our second one. I'm thinking, you know, we're going to be working with the sunflowers. So I have... I have this. This is nine inch. I need an eight and a half. So we measured these at eight and a half. So we'll just do this. Oh, perfect. Right at the white. Okay. So there, that's going to give us a sunflower border tuck. And, you know, we still had some of the napkin left. Do we have floral image yes look at this perfect right there so I think it's kind of cool that we were we've been able to make all of these images that are similar that will go into the sunflower journals okay again it can go anywhere on here because um, It's a border, so it's you're you're gonna see the whole thing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and 
at it right here in this area. And remember, I am on paint, but that, this time it seemed to stay, so that's good. Okay. Okay, so here we go. There's that. And we have been adding, occasionally, we have been adding this. I'm going to add it up here, okay? Okay. There we go. Use this right here. Put that down. Okay. There we go. Press it down. And this gives us another one. Okay. So with this one, you put it on the edge. This one can go on either edge. Glued in the three sides and it becomes a tuck space. This also could be a belly band. Okay. So, okay, so here we have the beautiful, beautiful, we have the, um, the image from not the image. We have, <coughs> excuse me. This is from the glossary. So I'm going to kind of look through here and see. Okay, we have that. You know, we also have, we do have this. Let's see if we have anything that we might be able to use in the berry. There's grapes. There's some berries. So I have the berry and the watermelon still to do. I don't. Okay, well, then I'm going to go ahead and switch it up. I have another journal that was started. And I have a box. I'm going to take out these, the blue images, okay, where there's blue, okay, there's Poppy, there they are, okay. Okay, the cool thing about putting something over this, the putting the napkin over this is you're gonna be able to see through it. Okay, so, and it's, um, I was gonna say non-toxic. It's, it's generic. It's not something that you have to worry about what the words are. It's cities and places that a hotel might be, things like that. Okay, so there is my blue, there is the purplish, that can go down there. Then I'm going to come down here and do it again. Okay. Okay. Whoop. I had a little bit of a tear problem there, but that's okay. Okay. Here, need, need a little more. Okay. Now, We'll go ahead and cut this one, cut this one. Now we can go ahead and let those go over or we can cut them and bring them back and use them. Okay. Okay, here we have the edge of the whole napkin and I really liked the way that looked when we did it yesterday on the so I'm gonna on the um, 
the pocket that we did yesterday. So I am going to go ahead and add it up against the edge. Okay, so our junk that we used was the um, the glossary from the Atlas. I think we've used almost all the map pages. Actually, I think we've used all the map pages or they've gone into special project places. Okay, so if I was doing something that was real botanical, um, this one would work for that. And so let's see, what do I... Okay. Okay. We have our little thing that we've been using. Our paint chip. Here we can put it on and have it have like a little a little flap. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on with this. You know what? I think I want to put it down right here. Okay, so I'm gonna put it here. No, I'm gonna put it down here because I want it to just be a flap. I don't want it to be a. Okay. Now we could go ahead and glue this together and just make it stronger. Another thing that we could do is collage that on top of there. Um, okay, we have a little piece of music that we can add down here. I like that actually. And remember, I like to use the, the little things that are hanging around. So, so that was like perfect. Okay, so we're going to let that one dry. And this one could get some pages inside of it. This is, you would glue it here and across and here, and that would be your bordered tuck. Okay, and it could go in either direction. Okay, if you needed one for the right, well, not really, because your, your cities and stuff are in that, in that order there. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't change that. Okay, so... Next, let's go in. We have the cover from some ledger. And I love to use the covers of things in my journals all the time. Okay, so I have this. I love that it has the... Um, these are in order. So you know what? Let's go ahead and measure this. Grab us another one of these. Okay, so they go with that. That. You see that? This one's actually different. It is different. Oh, I see, because we had... Nope, it's different. Okay. So we're going to cut it. But if I want it to match that one, which I think I do. Because I have some scrapbook paper that is is that. And I have a couple more cards in the card thing. Okay, so I, I've measured this with the eight and a half. And I'm going to come over here and I want to start with the number one. And I think I want to give it um, oh, to one, one of the, the boxes above. Okay, so we're going to cut it at the box above. So you can actually use this to write a list if you wanted to, is what, what I'm thinking here. Okay, so there's that, there's that one. Now for this one, I'm probably not gonna wanna do anything right on the, um, on that, but what I do want is I want 
like a piece of washi and I don't have any washi. So I'm going to do a washi substitute and I'm going to take this corner tuck and I'm going to cut myself off a piece that is going to be able to go on here. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and add it. I don't have a, top, a bottom on this, so it's not, it's not coming out. You have to, whichever side you're using, the other side has to be closed or you don't get no, no pressure. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, put this on here and then I'm going to go ahead and pull it down. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be my, my little edge there. I'm kind of wanting to take that off there, but that's okay. 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 Let's look around and see what we have in that, in that. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay. Well, this. Okay. We have, um, we have some lace. If I put this over this, can you still see the numbers? Yes. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so this says noteworthy. This can go on either side, but I'm thinking that it's going to need to be on the right side probably, but it can, but it could go on the left. Okay. So we've added staples, a note, and this. So that gives us three things. So if it's going on the right side, we're going to be putting glue here, here, and here. It'll go down on the right side. If we're putting it on the left side, the glue will go here, here, and here, and it can go down. Again, it's a border tuck, but it could also be a belly band. Okay, so just like that, the other one that could be either, so can that one. Now I could have added lace to that one side, but I think, I think we did good. Okay, so um, we have this calendar, okay, and this came out of this little book from 2014, and they're sewn in there, so I'm able to take them out and have the side by side pages. So I think that this one is really fun. I'm looking at it to be in to be added to the um, sunflower and but I want to see if we have any sunflower images and I'm thinking we might have to pull from my patreon um, from the patreon pages so these are the patreon pages there is a sunflower image there there's a little one with the words the friend words Okay, I'm thinking we can go ahead and use this Dear Julie Julie Digital. Just use this one. It's got a sunflower image. Okay, and so yeah, the um, each month the Patreons get digitals. Sometimes they go along with things that I've, I'm making, and I was having so much fun with the the pieces from the summer daisy that I kept making stuff, and that's. That's what they got this time. They got an additional summer friend. It, it, actually, it was friends. I, it has, um, there's a couple pages from a, um, I'm going to put this at an angle, you guys. But it has a couple pages from an, an address book from the 1800s, which I think is really cool. And so let's go ahead and we're going to do this at an angle. But we're also going to make it into a pocket because... I love pockets and I cannot lie. So we're going to go right here and add 
that and I want this to be, I want, I do want to be able to get the stamp. So for this part, I'm going to go ahead and put this down at the bottom. And then this over here, I'm going to go ahead and do it on the edge of the calendar. Okay. And then I'm going to put it all down. Okay. Put it all down. I could wrap this around. Um, I'm going to cut this one for sure. Okay get in here and cut this. I don't know what I did with my resist the sticky scissors again. Okay. But I'm going to put this one. I'm going to put around the corner. Okay. It had a little sunflower image on it. Now last month, the um, Patreons got sunflower, a whole bunch. Their, their stuff was all sunflowers. It was really cool. Okay. So there's that. And it could have just a little thing in it like this. We are going to want to, um, Let's see, we got that, we got that. And okay. I'm looking for something that can hang off. I think I'm gonna cut this out. This is the large tags, but I am gonna cut the, the, the set of cards out off of this large tag because you don't have to always use things as they are right and so that includes the little things like this okay and there's that that can go up here oh look it says 13 and there that's 13 that's kind of funny huh i think we'll we'll take advantage of that because i think it's funny we're on okay so there's that there's that and let's go with favorite we'll put that right up there at the top okay so this one it can be it's smaller it can either be for a smaller journal or a smaller page in the journal there we go we're just gonna kind of make it so they all come in together. If we've got our one, two, three items, this you can either, I mean, any of them you can do either, but you can go ahead and put this down by putting your glue here, here, and here, put it down and you'll have a tuck and you'll have a journaling spot, or you can do it um, this way. So like that, or you can put this over like this and have a journaling spot on each side or have this be the, the tuck and this could be a free floater. So it flips a free flip. Okay. So that gives us that one. We're getting close. We're getting close using our, our trash to make. Okay. So we have this, another, um, another card and Let's go ahead and I'm going to Okay. I've got two here. We have a birthday poem by Helen Steiner Rice. I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. But we have this. We have this. And what I'm thinking is Go ahead and fussy cut the top of this. Okay, fussy cut the top of this. And this can go on here in this direction, or I like it where you see the um, the items, the, the, the words, because you know, I like words. Okay, so I'm gonna come in and glue this down. Could go ahead and rip that and put that on there like this but I think it would make a great card for the little tuck over here maybe okay so there's that there's that 
Um, and so we have this flinch card that has the little girl fixing the clock. fixing the clock. I like her on there, I think. So I'm going to put her on here. Thinking music. Music. Okay. Here it is. All these are gonna fall. Because I really need to. I'm hoping I get far enough ahead today that I can clean. Okay, so here's the music. Should we do two? We'll try true first. there in the middle and I think a uh, twine or something would be really cool on this so when it gets put in its book that's a possibility okay so there we go that gives us another one we've got one two three four five got only six really one two three four five six well you know what now we need to switch to um, our little D's. Okay, so we've got this one, this one, and this one. And then we'll have these also that I can do. Okay, so with this one, I'm thinking I'll go with this. Now, I would probably, usually, um, go ahead and punch this, but I don't want to waste the time looking for the punch. Okay. So, um, so there's that. Now I'm going to come back over here because I think this right here might be kind of cool on there. And I don't think I have any just by itself. So I'm just going to come in and take it off. Okay. So it's the Daisy on the pillow. This is again, this is from the Patreon. It's using the similar items that are used in the summer Daisy digital kit. Um, each Patreon tier gets a different page. And then as you go up the tiers, you get all of them. Okay. So there's that and that. So we're just going to collage this one. Um, let's see. But we want it in the right direction. I was looking for the music again. There we go. I'm so, still so tired, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're going to do the. Okay, so a little collage, three items right here, all touching on top of each other. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now to um, one of the things that we can do with this is We can put this on. Okay, okay, I'm gonna put it on here. I'm gonna line it up, pull it in, 
I'm going to pull it up to the line and, okay, so you see I got a really good fold there. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold this down. And this is how I'm going to get my my corner flip okay so there's that part it's gonna sit in this direction just like this okay I'm gonna sit it on here okay and I would cover the inside of this um, you know what we can do it this direction and have some of it will be no, we can't. Yeah, we can't. Okay. Okay. So put it up as far as I can. Make sure that I'm in it. Okay. So I, my base is still um, junk because it's a book page. Okay. Now, when you open this, you're going to have this inside. You can go ahead and cover that with um, white paper. But this way, you can open this, you glue the back of this, and you've got a tuck here, okay? So that is my corner tuck for that one. And I think this can be, this can go with that. It'll go in the pocket. Okay, so we have this one here. Okay, so this one, um, you know what? Let's do the other one. I don't know where it's at. Okay. Okay. Um, So this one, we're going to just go ahead and allow it to go um, to be put down. I am going to want to do something with the with this. Okay. Okay. So here, I'm going to put some glue. This is going to go along with the the envelope we did yesterday that had the sun and the watering can, I think. Okay. Okay, so we just put kind of like a belly band on here. go ahead and put indentations, three indentations. Okay. And that's going to help figure out where these are to go. Okay. So cross, flip, cross, cross, cut, tie in a bow. Okay, so that can go across like that. And we can add the little tiny piece of music just because we did add it on the, that other one, the little envelope pocket. Okay, so, okay, so this one can just be a regular corner tuck, just Glue here, glue here, boom, you're a corner tuck. We can add lace or whatever once we get it to where it's going. Um, you know, it could even have an edge of something like that, okay, or lace. So that is our other corner tuck. 
And then we have one more thing that we need to make. And, oh, we still have, we still have this. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll save that for another. So we have this as our privacy envelope. And see, it would have been cool if we would have kept that. We could have made it be a pretty little card, but we didn't. Okay. Um, so let's see. We have this pretty in here. And we have this one. That'd be pretty over the over the window. Okay. So that's something up here. Okay, so what's going to happen is we'll make something that will go inside of here. Okay, we're going to decorate the outside of this envelope. I'm going to use um, the, let's see, how far down do I need to, I want this. Okay, I'm going to go with up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to free eye this, okay? So... I go with up. I'm going to go across over into the next set of letter number sequences. Okay. Okay. We could go. this down. I, you know, we could take that window apart. I don't want to take the window apart, but I will fold this. Okay. And I will mark it. Okay. So there and there. And numbers on this side. And, okay, so we're going to go in. And in. On this side, we're going to go all the way over to just about the numbers. Okay, we're gonna rip it because I think ripping is the way to do with this. Okay, and then we're gonna come around right there. Then on this side, we're gonna come in and go down about there. Okay. Somewhere I probably have a die cut that I would be able to use for this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm happy with that. I'm going to put this down. Okay, so this is a envelope, junk mail envelope. This is the glossary from an atlas. It's what we're using so far. Okay, go ahead and put this down. And then 
go ahead and cut across and down. Okay, cut across and down. And we're going to put this Like, should we go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go up and across and up and across. Okay. We're going to put that right on top of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and that's what we're doing right there. Put this down. Come up. Oh, look at, we'll be up there. Oh man. Huh. Well. You know what? We're going to come across here. Okay. We'll go with this across there. Okay. Then we'll go from the bottom and the bottom up. Okay. So we have covered, covered that. Okay, now we're going to use this really pretty paper that we have from, from the card and I'm going to cut it down a little bit because I want to have the outline of some of the numbers and letters. And this is going to go in with my uh, spring, swing into spring and the spring stuff. because I think these flowers that are on this are perfect for that. Okay. Yeah, I could save this instead of, I could just use that one there. Okay, so here we're gonna have a place that something can go in here and also on the back. Um, the other thing was, is I had this yellow piece of yellow and I'm going to go ahead and add that across Ooh, I have the pink I'm going to do the pink because it seems to me that we had pink and the stuff that we I think we made it at the VIP the things that I'm thinking of or they might have been a mini challenge in the challenge but they were really cool okay so there's that and do we have any more of those little dots? So here we go. Grab, grab this. Make one dot. get a chance I'll make a whole bunch of those again they, we go through them pretty quickly okay I like that I can save the area up in the pink to actually put like a title so but I think I'm gonna leave this one simple like this like I said we'll make something to go in here the, the thing today was to make the border tuck and so your glue will go here here and here you'll be able to put something inside here as well as on a page inside there so I'm pretty excited about that and so let me clean this up we'll take a look at what we got okay and here we go we have our corner tuck and remember we took this card and divided it in half so we have another one we have a um, attachment here with a collage using more of the card and some of the music and some of the baker's twine so this, you'll just go ahead and add glue here and here. That gives us one corner tuck. And then here is our other one. This one, you go ahead and put your glue down on this part and you're able, to, it's able to be flipped up. Okay, so um, we can add some plain paper here. Um, you can even put a small like little notebook journal inside there, but that gives us another corner tuck. Okay, so we've got two corners 
And I'm just keeping this with this because I, I think it, it's going to look pretty with that. Okay. Then we have the one made out of the um, inside of the gift bag. Remember the gift bag was like this. And we went ahead and we added this piece of the greeting card, some music, and the little piece there. Now this can go into the journal on either side. So whichever side you want your opening, you leave that open and you put your glue around the other sides. And um, so I think that one's going to be really pretty. And again, you can add a flip flop in there um, or just leave it for journaling space like that. Okay. Next we have the little calendar and this opens like that. You have a pocket here that you can put something in and again, you can choose either side. You can go ahead and put your glue on these three sides with this being the opening or the other way. Okay, then we have the paint chip and the greeting card along with one of the images from the Patreon digital and this here, music. Okay, so this one, you can go ahead and put your glue on this or if you want to, you can put your glue on that and have it, it. So this can go on either side of your journal pages. Okay, next we have from the cover of the ledger. And so this one, again, can go on either side. Could also be, any of these could also be a, A belly band and work, would work really, really well. Here we have just the um, just the paint strip with some napkin and the the thread there. We have this one here. Oh, okay. This one um, again. You could add some papers inside here. You could go ahead and close this up also if you wanted to. We added some of the napkin here on top of the glossary from the Atlas. You have a paint chip down here and a little piece of music. I love the way this one turned out. It is a envelope and we were able to cover it up to cover yet leave the see-through area here open and we'll be able to put that into journal and then we can make something that will go in here and we'll sit inside inside there so that gives us two um, border text and like I said in the when I was making them I think I'm going to use these with the swing into spring digital kit and the other spring seven days of spring digital kit I think that that will be really pretty with those okay so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine assorted corner and border tucks. And of course, I still have the two of those that I can make. Um, but I think that they turned out really cool. What is your favorite? I love this one. I love the calendar. Um, but I, th I think this is my favorite. Okay. Very, very simple. Again, it can go on either either side. It can go here with your glue down behind there, or it can go on this side with your glue down behind these three sides, okay? With that, making that a tuck, yet you'll still have the pocket here that you can put something in. Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to come back and see us tomorrow. We will have a premiere at 1030 Pacific Standard Time with a live chat. You can join us in that live chat by hitting that button right there and come on over and say hello. Also, don't forget to go watch one of these videos that will appear magically up here because YouTube really likes that when you stay on YouTube after you watch a video that you liked. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.